Good morning, Church of the Ascension. Um, we are the Twitchells, Erica and Nate. Um, and we're leading morning prayer today from Brighton Heights. So let us just quiet our hearts and uh, prepare to come before the Lord, our God. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name will be great among the nations, and in every place incense will be offered to my name, and a pure offering. For my name will be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most, most merciful, merciful Father, Father we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no help in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises, declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins, and serve you with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Lord has come, has shown forth his glory. O oh, come, let us adore him. O oh, come, let, let us, us sing unto the Lord. Lord. Let, let us heartily rejoice, rejoice in the strength of our salvation. salvation. Let, let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. The Lord has shown forth his glory. O oh, come, let us adore him. The psalm for today is Psalm 18, verses 1 through 20. We'll read responsibly. Oh. <laughs> you can move. I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my stronghold, and my deliverer. My Savior, my God, my might, in whom I will trust. My buckler, the horn of my salvation, and my refuge. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The waves of death encompassed me. The floods that would swallow me up made me afraid. The cords of the grave surrounded me. The snares of death overtook me. In my trouble, I called upon the Lord. And cried unto him, unto my God for help. From his holy temple, he heard my voice. My complaint came before him. It entered into his ears. The earth trembled and quaked. The very foundations of the hills shook and were removed because he was angry. There went out smoke from his nostrils and a consuming fire out of his mouth. Coals of fire issued from his presence. He parted the heavens also and came down. And it was dark under his feet. He rode upon the cherubim and flew. He came flying upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. Dark waters of, and thick clouds were his covering round about him. At the brightness of his presence, his clouds broke forth. 
hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered out of heaven, and the Most High gave forth his voice. Hailstones and coals of fire. He sent out his arrows and scattered them. He cast forth lightning and destroyed them. The springs of water were seen, and the foundations of the world were uncovered. At your rebuke, O Lord, at the blasting of the breath of your displeasure. He reached down from on high to grasp me. And took me out of the many waters. He delivered me from my strongest enemy and from those who hated me. For they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my trouble. But the Lord upheld me. He brought me forth into the place of liberty. He delivered me because I had found favor in his eyes. Glory be, be to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall, shall be, world without, without end. end. Amen. Um, the second lesson is from the um, Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John, beginning with the fourth chapter, the first verse. Now, when Jesus learned that the Pharisees had heard that Jesus was making and baptizing more disciples than John, although Jesus himself did not baptize, but only his disciples, he left Judea and departed again for Galilee, and he had to pass through Samaria. So he came to a town of Samaria called Sychar, near the field that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, so Jesus, wearied as he was from his journey, was sitting beside the well. It was about the sixth hour. A woman from Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, give me a drink, for his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, how is it that you, a Jew, ask for a drink from me, a woman of Samaria? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, if you knew the gift of God and who it is that is saying to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw water with, and the well is deep. Where do you get that living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob? He gave us the well and drank from it himself, as did his sons and his livestock. Jesus said to her, Everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. The water that I will give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, sir, give me this water so that I will not be thirsty or have to come here to draw water. Jesus said to her, go, call your husband and come here. The woman said to him, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, you are right in saying I have no husband for you have had five husbands and the one you now have is not your husband. What you have said is true. The woman said to him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worshiped on this mountain, but you say that in Jerusalem is the place where people ought to worship. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem will you worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We worship what we know, for salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming and is now here when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such people to worship him. God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that Messiah is coming, he who is called Christ. When he comes, he will tell us all things. Jesus said to her, I who speak to you am he. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's say together the glory and excelsis. Glory to God in the the highest highest, and peace to his people people on earth. Lord God, God, heavenly heavenly King, King, almighty God God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen.
Let us proclaim our faith using the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. Take a moment to offer up prayers of gratitude uh, for what God is doing, what he has done, and what he will do. Father, we thank you for this um, community of believers that you have called us into, um, present at Ascension, um, our brothers and sisters throughout Pittsburgh, um, from other churches. Um, we thank you, Lord, that our family is not a family that is defined by, um, is defined by your name and nothing else. So we thank you that we are a part of your family um, and that you are reconciling us to one another. Uh, Father, we give you thanks that you are a God who calls people who are far off and brings them near. Uh, so we give you thanks that you, uh, that you call us uh, to draw close to you uh, who do not, um, you know, we can't, we can't earn that closeness, God, uh, yet you are drawing us uh, ever closer to you. And we give you thanks for that. We'll pray the colic of the day for this uh, Thursday after Epiphany. Oh God, by the leading of your star, of a star, you manifested your only son to the peoples of the earth. Let us who know you now by faith to your presence, where we may see your glory face to face through, the, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek you Seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold and pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray also for all of those who are hold civil authority. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, Send down to those who hold public office, especially those working to stop the spread of the coronavirus, the spirit of wisdom, charity, and justice, 
that with steadfast purpose they may faithfully serve in their offices to promote the well-being of all people through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we um, close with the prayer of St. John Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. You have promised through your well-beloved son that where two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye, Ascension.